Hey there, thanks for visiting my Laurie Pop channel, Ideas That Pop. Here are seven tips if this is your first time flying. If you've never flown before, you will feel much more at ease after watching these seven tips. I'm going to walk you through the airport. I'm going to show you how to go through the airport security line so that you know what to expect if this is your first time flying. I am a travel expert, I consider myself, because I'm married to an airline employee, so we have flown almost 100 flights since I've been married. I have learned from my mistakes going through an airport and making some mistakes that I should know better about while going through security that I'm going to pass on to you that will help you have a smooth, experience going through security, going through the airport, and being on the airplane. If you like this video, be sure to click the little subscribe button or give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, introduce yourself, tell me where you're going, let me know your questions or biggest fears. The number one most helpful tip for a first time traveler in an airplane would be to be prepared. You are going to research and know all these tips and all of the rules for going on an airplane and going through security in 2018. Go to www.tsa.gov. Like I did, it lists in the top left corner, what can I bring? It lists for you all these objects and liquids that you would be surprised that people have tried to bring on an airplane and through security. I stopped on page 28 and I was only in the letter N section of their alphabetized list for what you can bring through security. So part of that is going to help you. I also can recommend an app now that is called MyTSA. In it, you can ask an agent on Facebook Messenger or on Twitter. My question for the TSA was, can I bring lip gloss in my bag or do I need to put it in my liquids container? and they got back to me 36 hours later and said yes it is considered a liquid. Now one of the rules is the 311 rule. That means that each container that's in your liquid bag needs to be 3.4 ounces or less. That means every container. So this container needs to be less than 3.4 ounces. The only way you can transport these in your through the security line is in a zipped quart sized bag. I love this one. You can use the stand and fill Ziploc bag, any kind of Ziploc bag that has a zip top that is a quart size amount. And it does say on their website that you can only bring one of these bags. I took two to Europe and they had to squish everything into one bag, but I've gotten away with it. I don't know if, I think it depends on each TSA agent and the busyness and the stress in that airport at that time, or how high the security alert is that day. They change daily, but I don't care. Whatever keeps me safe, I will not argue. I am prepared, and if there are any kind of safety measures that they want to take, I will not argue with them because I want to be safe. It's not their fault that we have to now think about that. When you are traveling, you're going to have a carry-on bag that goes under your airplane seat with you, and you are going to have a suitcase. Now, for your carry-on bag, you can use a backpack, handbag, duffel bag, anything that is going to fit under the airplane seat. Or if it's too big, you'll fit it overhead, okay? But you are only allowed two bags onto the airplane. So, I always travel because we're airline employees, I always travel with a carry-on suitcase that can fit in the big airplane's overhead bin or it can get checked last minute. And I always travel with only a backpack. I sometimes will put a purse inside here that I can use in my final destination that keeps my wallet and little bitty things that I need, my essentials really. And I always carry all medications essentials in my carry-on bag that will be on my person in the airplane because they can get lost and you need that medication. My number two tip is to have your documents out for the ticketing agent. You show up at the airport with your two bags and then you are going to go to the ticketing agent if you have to go to a ticketing agent to get your boarding pass. When I give you these helpful hints or helpful tips Please don't think that I'm patronizing you or talking down to you. I'm helping you be prepared so that you're a resourceful, respectful citizen who is 
caring about the people who are behind you in line. You don't want to waste their time by not being prepared. So you would show up at an airport to check your large luggage that's going to go in the belly of the airplane. You already have your ID or your travel documents out for the agent. You don't walk up to the desk counter and then say, okay, let me look through my suitcase or backpack and find the right documents. While you are in line, you are finding those documents and will have them ready for the ticketing agent. Now, you put, take your time, put everything away, and you're gonna to go to the security line. The third most important tip for traveling for the first time is to keep those documents out and have them easily accessible. I always keep my driver's license ID in my backpack that I'm gonna have on the airplane in my little bitty wallet that I'm gonna just keep in there and I never take it out until I want to buy a snack or a magazine. When I go through security, I'm gonna use my passport as my ID because when I'm done with it, I can just throw it in here, this outside pocket of my suitcase and then get organized. And I'll show you that in just a bit. I'm going to do a recreation of what it's like, a positive experience for going through the airline security. When you are walking towards the security line, you cannot even get into the security line unless you show them your ticket. So I just keep out my ticket that I got at the ticketing counter, if you have to do that, or I've printed it out or it's on my phone. And if you're scared about your phone having wireless connection at the airport, what I do is when I have my phone and get my boarding pass, I take a picture of it or a screenshot with my phone. So I, my thumb goes on the little circle part and then my finger would click the one single button, raised button that's on the side of your phone and I would click those at the same time and that takes a screenshot of my boarding pass or my ticket. While you're walking through the security line, then you pull out your passport or your ID that is in this pocket of the outside, the easiest place you can find it because you don't want to take forever looking for your ID. And you can use a driver's license or a passport. Now when it's your turn to go to the nice or bad mood TSA agent checking IDs and your ticket, you will already have those documents out. Then you walk past him and you have to kind of stand in line before it's time for you to put your backpack up on the bag. But you put your ID down in there where you have your liquids also. And now I'll show you how to put everything on the conveyor belt. Welcome to my airport. I videoed this in a different room on my dining room table slash ping pong table and it did not turn out right. It was very fuzzy, so I'm doing it later in the day here on my hope chest that my dad made for me. You have gone through the security line showing your ID and boarding pass or your ticket. Now you are up to the conveyor belt and it's your turn. You've unzipped your boots, you're ready to take those off or you've loosened your shoestrings in, while you are in line. The boarding documents are in here, right? Now you're ready for the conveyor belt, so you just reach in here easily, take out your liquids. The Atlanta airport makes you put even your suitcase in a bin, and it's not really convenient, but you might have to do that, you might not. I always put my, the handle first, so that when I get through security and come over here, I will just grab the handle on the front. I don't have to go to the back of my suitcase to grab my handle. That's just an extra tip. Don't let it overwhelm you. And then I put my backpack down, okay? All right, I did not have to get wanded because I took off my shoes. I'm not wearing any major jewelry. I pull up because I'm, I don't want to stand here forever and repack everything with everyone else waiting for this little bitty conveyor belt and the not so nice TSA agents sometimes saying, go, go, go. So I'm immediately putting my liquids in my unzipped pocket of my suitcase. And then I just grab my backpack. And remember my passport and my liquids are in here. My number four tip for flying for the first time is to go through the security line, grab your bags, and put everything together at a bench that's right past security. There are several benches outside of security in every airport that I've ever been to, 
and it's for you to rearrange. Then when I get to the bench, I can sit down, put on my shoes, because those were in the bin with my liquids, if I didn't say that. So shoes and liquids both go in their same bin, just so it's easier, and you can just carry that bin because you're hands-free, and you can carry your suitcase. Your backpack is on your back. So we're at the bench, putting on my shoes. I am taking out my liquids, and I'm putting it in my backpack because they will leak. Some of these liquids will leak if they are in the bottom of the airplane, the belly of the airplane. It's different pressure down there a little bit. <clears throat> so I just will quickly throw those in my backpack. And my passport, if you don't keep your passport in your suitcase, I put my passport in my suitcase, but I zip it in the inside pocket, and then I zip the outer pocket. And so I am all organized. Now I'm ready to go to my airplane. I have another tip for you if it's your first time flying, but I videoed that in another room, the ping pong table room. I do want to say one thing about when you are choosing a suitcase, if you don't have one, make sure you have a handle on the top and on the left side if you are right-handed because when you pick up your suitcase and you're going to put it in above the seat of your airplane seat, you want that. Now my mom's suitcase has a handle up here and on the right side of her suitcase. If you're right-handed, you don't want that because your left hand is going to be doing most of the lifting of the suitcase and your right hand is just balancing it to help get it over into the overhead bins above your airplane seat. Now I have a video about what's under my airplane seat that you can click on. You can click on these I cards anytime during the video and they will take you to that specific video. For me going through the airport, I have a what not to wear video and today I just chose a long loose flowy dress almost. It's a tunic. It goes way below like two inches below my fingertips and I'm wearing leggings and little tennis shoes. I can highly recommend all of these. I can give you links to these on Amazon but I love traveling like this because I can dress up a tank like this. I can throw on a little short sleeve cardigan. I can throw on a long sleeve cardigan, a sweatshirt over this and be totally relaxed. It's a great item that I can recommend to you. Number five tip for going through an airport is take your time. You will not see those TSA agents again even though they might get really mad at you that you're doing something the wrong way or not fast enough. You will never see those passengers who are behind you or around you again, but you are being respectful. A respectful citizen cares about their time as well as your time. So you are being prepared by watching a fabulous YouTube video and researching and doing your part. But if something happens by accident, it's okay. Don't get flustered because that being in a rush and getting flustered makes you forget things and do things in the wrong way or put your ID somewhere you won't remember putting it. I must tell you that I have flown for many years and almost 100 flights or more and I still will forget to take off my belt sometimes or either one time I was transferring I had half a water bottle full and or empty. <laughs> I had a half empty water bottle in my backpack and had to go through security again and didn't remember. So it happens to the best of us, the most avid travelers, and it's okay. The number six tip for going through the airport and flying for the first time is to know that that plane boarding door is going to shut and you will not be able to have them open it 20 minutes before your departure time. So your plane is leaving at 1.30, you need to be in the boarding area already lined up in your corral or line number where your seating section is 20 minutes before it's supposed to even board. Like they start lining up really soon. And I don't know if I said this, but the number seven tip of flying is to make sure that you know that your carry-on suitcase or carry-on big bag if they don't have enough overhead space, it will get checked into the belly of the airplane. Don't put anything in there that could get lost or cannot have pressure. Now you have done your research. You are a respectful, resourceful citizen and airplane flyer. You are not a beginner anymore. You know what to expect. You know what to do. Now you can just relax and have fun on your vacation before it even starts.
Thank you for popping over and don't forget to like this video or subscribe. I have lots of other videos to help you. And leave me a comment and introduce yourself. Thanks for popping over.